It's Chevalier Cup Day on Sunday at Chartin. The feature race, one of ten races uh, on the programme, all of them on the turf as well as we continue the countdown to HKIR. A very warm welcome to Racing to Win. I'm Andrew Lejeune, joined here in the studio by our former analyst Paul Lally and race caller Brett Davis as well. Brett, uh, high class lineup and incredibly, we've got a horse making his Hong Kong debut in the feature who's trying to get there on International Day too. That's right, yeah, Northern Superstar, real draw card, isn't he, from the Tony Millard Yard. We'll look forward to seeing how he goes. I read Tony would be happy just to see him close off nicely. He'd be extra happy if he were able to win, obviously. <laughs> uh, but that's all he's hoping for, uh, a nice closing run, and then on to uh, December 9. Yeah, he's a high-class horse, um, grade one winner in South Africa. But uh, more on him later, Paul. More jackpots. It's been the season of jackpots, hasn't it? It has. It's been some really good ones. There's another good one coming up Wednesday. But uh, here on uh, Sunday, uh, 6.2 million going into the triple trio. So there's a really good uh, jackpot to start there. And also in races 6 and 10, we're putting 800,000 into the pools there for the quartet and the first four merge pools. So it uh, should be good. Yeah, really good jackpots. Yeah. Japan Cup as well, Andrew, is... part of the uh, race day. Yeah, yeah, and Capri going around the Japan Cup, mm. possibly. Well, he's got his flight booked to come to Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I saw the schedule uh, yeah. on the, uh, the website. All right, there you go. So all of that to look forward to. As far as uh, Chartin is concerned this weekend, though, uh, we have Sportsmaster out of the second event. It's quite an important scratching. It would have been a big chance there, Sportsmaster. Uh, Zach Burton would have ridden him. He now drives Royal Prerogative, who is first up for the season. And Flame Lily also first up will replace Beauty Energy in race number five. Grant Van Nierke, a cool ride. Uh, Oscar Magic now takes the place of Bullish Brother in the fifth also. Touch of Luck is out, number five, of number five, I should say. Not replaced there, so race ten, Touch of Luck. Uh, sorry, race five, number ten, Touch of Luck is out. This is meeting number 23 of the season. We're on the C course for our ten races on the turf, starting off with a class four down the straight. Thousand metre dash here, headed by Joy Master. Tongue tie on for the first time. Sam Clipper arrived from barrier 11. Multi million second up. They try the cheek pieces, beaten favourite on debut. Best of Luck makes his debut here for Richard Gibson, Matthew Chuck, as does Courageous Dragon. Excel design for John Side, Zach Purton. Jimson the Dragon is also here on debut. What a legend. Also makes his first start. Lucky Lucky gets the blinkers back on. And Star Superior for Eddie Light will jump from Barrier 3. Lots of debutants and lightly raced horses here, Brent. There are five deb debutants and a whole heap that have only had the one start. So, subject to change this speed map. But Excel Delight looks to have tremendous gate speed. We know Multi Million can take a step or two to get rolling, but then he really picks up Lucky Lucky, very sweet orange. Wouldn't expect Jimson the Dragon or Best of Luck, who's shown quite good speed in his trials, to be too far away. So maybe even good to fast the tempo. Thought I'd show you the first starters. Uh, here's the first one of them, Best of Luck, Matthew Chavik aboard. Just some slow work. Now, his best trials have been on the all-weather, and he did trial nicely in Australia before he got here on wet tracks. So I just wonder if his future is on the all-weather. Uh, Courageous Dragon, now, he trialled nicely in Australia before he got in. Didn't win the trial, but he, he could have easily at Cranbourne, I think. He ran third in his last trial, but he looks quite forward for a good run. He's had two trials here. He's 1,022 pounds as Courageous Dragon. And uh, the other first starter, XL Delight, now, he has won the trial. He did beat Best of Luck in that trial, and it was a really nice trial from him. And he looks real forward to run a good race, uh, and he's got the good draw, XL Delight. John size. Yeah, barrier for 14. Zach Purton will be in the saddle. We'll come back and have a look at some of those uh, debutants in due course. Let's have a look at uh, Multi Million, who is making his debut here. Good and Helmut Waters as well. And Pegasus, Pegasus Elite, who is further back. Yeah, well, good on Helmut. I actually liked him here. He he got out of the gates a little bit awkwardly. I think he's a chance of improving. Multi-million is a very speedy type. He does take a step or two to get moving, but he showed brilliant gate speed. He was cut down by a horse that's had a lot more experience, um, but a pretty good run, all considered for multi-million. Yeah, I quite like him. I think he's come on from this run as well. The cheek pieces will go on, uh, multi-million. Yeah. And just with that little experience under his belt, I'll probably side, I am going to side with him. Yeah, Barrier 13 is another real positive, the rail yeah. to follow. Absolutely. Yep. Or Bumble Baby. This is his course and distance. Um, and so we'll have a look at him in winning form back on the first. I've often been a fan of uh, Bumble Baby, and this has turned out to be a reasonable form reference in, uh, in going forward. But... I get the feeling, you know, we've mentioned five first starters and a whole lot that are just having their second start. There's quite a few nice horses, I get the feeling, in this race, Paul. For uh, that reason, old Bumble doesn't get in. Doesn't he? He's an old favourite of yours. I I've got him in there for third. He he's, drawn, <laughs> he's drawn the inside, uh, Bumble Baby, of Barrier 2. But we are seeing horses winning from those draws. True. So, look, I, I threw him in for third. All right, OK, that's uh, Bumble Baby. Here are two of the debutants, Excel Delight and Best of Luck. Now, they have trial on the turf as well, but this is the all-weather. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. You can see Excel Delight's going really nicely in front here on the all-weather. And 
Best of luck. I, I thought this was his best trial uh, when he runs second. As I mentioned, his, his, his trials in uh, Australia are on wet tracks. Now, he's, he's 11.98 pounds, so he's a nice big horse. His best of luck. And uh, XL Delight's 1,081. So I think he's really forward for a good run, XL Delight. Yeah, definitely. Both of them look to have ability, no yeah. doubt. It'll just be interesting to see who can respond best when the pressure goes in at the 400. Yeah. All right, Jimson the Dragon is also here on debut. We can see him uh, trialling with the aforementioned Bumble Baby. Yeah, this was half the reason I didn't put Bumble Baby in. I just didn't like the look of this trial. I know he's on the dirt and he's better on the turf. And uh, Jimson the Dragon, he's got some pace as well. Um, he had a trial over 800, finished second, then he finished third at his next one, um, which, of course, um, is the one we're looking at here. Nice enough. Not sure what to expect from him, actually, um, when the pressure goes in. So I'm going to sit on the fence with him out of the newcomers, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was right in it. Just two trials. He's 1,022, so he's not the biggest horse around. Another one of the Jimson dynasty here in Hong Kong. Oh, no. There's a few dragons and so forth <laughs> in this race. There are multi-million is uh, favourite here, Paul. So back up that promising debut. Yeah, and I'm going to go with him just on the experience factor, because he's had this uh, one start and... Uh, he did run very well on debut. So we'll go with him to beat the first starter, uh, XL Delight. Bumble Baby's been there, done that, and uh, he's had two uh, wins already. And Gurdon Helmut, I'll give him another chance. He was a bit, as Brett mentioned, he was a bit awkward away last time, so he did lose that ground. Uh, and uh, I think for Barry 8, he should be a little bit handier. And uh, he trialled really well before that first start, so with, with that run under his belt, he might have learned what the game's all about. I think there's some talent floating around in this race. I'm going to go with Multi Million, who's had the benefit um, of a race and Felt the pressure of a race and he's been able to respond to it well with a nice second. Drawn that outside rail, which is a good spot to be. Excel Delight, best of luck of the newcomers. They both trialled nicely, but under race pressure, we'll see what they've got. And I think Courageous Dragon will handle the race pressure. He'll be back sitting in the second part of the field, but I think he'll find the line quite well. That trial on the 2nd of October over the straight 1,000, I thought, was nice. I'll bank of the two with the 3, 5, 6, 10 in a trio for uh, the first, but an interesting race. Certainly is, yeah. We've all got the same queue, two and six. Um, I thought What a Legend was worth a second yeah, look as well. He so hit the line hard too, didn't he? Mm, mm. Yeah, so have a look at his trials if you get a chance there.